What's up guys, today I'm talking about the Hayabusa 3.0 Gold Weave Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Gi. Stick around. So the other day I did a review, or basically just a video on gis that I own. It was kind of a review, but not an in-depth review. And I wanted to give a bit more attention to this particular gi because I just purchased it not long ago. I've got a couple of rolls in it now, and I wanted to share with you how it's how it feels, the fit, and all the above, the quality, and do I think, mainly, do I think it's worth the price. So right now on Amazon, you can pick these up in about five sizes. That's A1 through A5. The one you just saw me in and the one you saw in the previous video, if you checked out that video of gi reviews, don't worry, I'll pop a link up here somewhere or I'll put it in the description below this video. But that gi that I was wearing is an A3. Now right now you can go to Amazon and pick this thing up in three different colors. You can do white, blue, or black. The black one you saw me in with the red patches. The blue one I believe comes with white patches. Again, really tight, really nice looking. And then you have the white one with black stitching, black patches, and that looks really nice as well. If I were gonna pick another color besides the black one, obviously that's my first choice because that's the one I purchased. If I were gonna pick another one, I'd probably pick the blue one because that's really nice looking. It's a different color blue than most other blue geese. It's a nice, deep, rich blue. And that with that white, those white patches looks really, really nice. Now, will this geese shrink? Well, if you put it in the dryer, it probably will shrink. Most geese do when you throw them in the dryer. When I ordered my first gee, this gee, I ordered an A2. It was a bit snug. It looked really nice and custom fit. The problem is, is that I knew once I got on the mats, it was gonna get really uh, tough to move in some positions. The other thing was, is that if it shrunk even a little bit, it would be a bit more uh, restrictive when, I, when I'm rolling. So I didn't want that to happen. If you're broad in the shoulders, broad in the chest, you might wanna pick up an A3, but no worries. In that link I'll provide in the description below, on Amazon, it has a sizing chart. Um, if you're on the edge of the sizing chart, just pick up the next level up, you should be fine, or the next size up and you should be fine. Now on Amazon, you're gonna see that it says the shipping weight is 5.45 pounds. I think it still says that. What I will tell you is this, I actually weighed myself. I went up just before this video, weighed myself. I weighed 184 before I put on the gi. After I put on the gi, I weighed 189 and a half. So five and a half pounds is what I'm getting. Now listen, my scales probably aren't as accurate as Amazon's maybe, but I thought that was gonna be like a shipping weight with box and everything, and that is actually the weight of the gi. And that is something to consider, which I'll talk about later on in the video. Now let's talk about the quality of this gi. You're gonna notice that there's some reinforced stitching, reinforced areas in the lapel and in the pants. The stitching on this thing seems incredible. I know it says gold weave, but this thing does feel like it will stand the test of time, which is important to me if you're rolling a lot. This thing is of high quality. It definitely weighs a lot, which you know can be a negative or positive, depends on how you look at things. But for me, I'm looking at it as a positive in the sense that I'll be rolling in this thing a lot and I want it to hold up. Now this gi does come with some kanji written on it. So that's Japanese lettering and it does spell out strength, courage, pride, and respect. So if that's something that maybe you know you don't like, then you might want to think about that with this gi. To me, I'm not, I don't like glamour gis. I don't like a lot of patches and things like that. But this gi seems to have placed these in the right areas so it doesn't seem like it, there's a bunch of gi bling on the thing. I really think that the kanji, you know, just adds to the overall aesthetics of the gi. This thing has mostly red patches and lettering with some white lettering, definitely red stitching, which really keeps this thing looking sharp and tight. Looks like a professional gi. It looks like something that's gonna stand up. It's gonna last me a very long time. Now let's talk a little bit about the function of the gi. I talked about the reinforced stitching and the reinforced lapels and pants. I'm not gonna go into that again, but what I will say is, you know, I've rolled in this thing a few times now and I like giving reviews after I've tried out the product. The only negative thing I can say is it does get a bit heavy when you roll in it. Um, so rolling in this thing, not that it's hot or anything like that, it's heavy, it's made of cotton, of really hot quality cotton. And usually when you sweat in a gi, like a lightweight gi, or maybe one with cheaper cotton, you really, the cotton absorbs the sweat really quickly, and then you start passing through, you know, passing on the sweat to the mats or onto your partner or, or something like that. In this gi, what happens is because of the high quality cotton, it just keeps soaking it up and soaking it up and soaking it up, and when you're done, the gi feels a bit heavy. Definitely carry a trash bag with you when you have this gi with you at the gym. I do that anyway with all my gis. I throw the gi in the trash bag, but you don't want to take this gi and just be putting it anywhere because it's going to be, you know, it's soaking up a lot of that sweat. And if it's soaking up your sweat, then it's definitely soaking up some of your partner's sweat as well. So make sure you keep it clean, you keep it fresh, throw it in a trash bag so when you get home, you can throw that thing right in the washer. And since we're on the topic of weight, let's talk about competition. If you're going into competition and you're right on the edge of meeting that, you're meeting the criteria for getting into the weight class underneath you, if that's what you're trying to do, then I wouldn't recommend getting this gi for a competition because it, it, there is some weight to the gi. So if you've ever been to a competition or even if you haven't, you know or you will know if you compete that when you go to a competition, they weigh you in right before you go into the mats to roll, okay, to, do, to compete. 
And when that happens, you have to meet the weight criteria or the weight limit. If not, then you're gonna get booed. I don't know what happens. I've never seen it. I think you might actually get disqualified. Uh, so it's something to consider with this gi because it is heavier, five and a half pounds according to my scales. So if you're thinking about getting this gi, I would make sure I was at least six and a half pounds under, under the cutoff limit for competition or just use this gi for practice. So now let's talk about if I'd recommend this gi. And if you haven't figured out by now, yes, I would recommend this gi, especially if you're just gonna be rolling in this or if you're under your weight limit, you know, six and a half pounds under your weight limit for a competition, this gi is gonna be incredible. It's gonna hold up, it's gonna stand the test of time. And for $149.99 on Amazon right now, again, link in the description below, really a good price for what you're getting. So yes, I would recommend this gi. Now let's get to the final thing I wanna to talk to you about and the most important, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, I'm really trying to grow the channel, so if you could subscribe, that'd be incredible. Also, if you like this video, give me that thumbs up button. That'd be awesome also. Support me, let me know what you're liking so I can do more videos like that. Throw me a comment in the section below. Tell me what you wanna see. Tell me you like me, tell me you hate me. Something just so I can gauge where I'm going with these videos. I appreciate you, I love making these videos, and I'll see you in the next video.